Hello friends. Today I want to explain about a beautiful concept which has highly application and where number of questions generally asked in IITs, mains, advanced and in every state level exam. So the concept is called perpendicular distance from a point to the line. So let us suppose consider a point P, x1, y1 and the line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So the perpendicular distance is also called as shortest distance from a point to the line. So let the point is px1 y1 and the line is x plus by plus c equal to 0. And we know the formula is uh, this thing. d is equal to mod of ax1 plus by1 plus c under root of a square plus b square. So the next one is based on the same thing application is uh, distance between two parallel lines. Let us suppose I have line 1 ax plus by plus c equal c1 equal to 0 for example. And line 2 if I take it as ax plus by plus c2 equal to 0. c2 equal to 0. So the distance between them is nothing but shortest distance and it is d we will assume. So that D is nothing but, I think everyone knows the formula is mod of C2 minus C1 by under root of A square plus B square. So this has a lot of applications in IIT level and in all the conceptual level questions. For example, if I have a, a parallelogram like this, I have a parallelogram like this and uh, uh, this is a parallelogram for example. I have a parallelogram like this and uh, P1 and P2 are the perpendicular distance or distance between two parallel lines. So here is uh, AX plus BY plus C1 equal to 0 if I take and this I can take it as AX plus BY plus C2 equal to 0. So we can find P1 easily. And this line I can take it as uh, some um, cx plus dy plus uh, uh, d1 equal to 0 and this line I can take it as cx plus dy plus uh, d2 equal to 0. And if theta is angle between the adjacent sides of the parallelogram, that is angle between ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0 and uh, cx plus dy plus uh, d2 equal to 0. So for example, they gave a uh, these four lines and they're asking what is the area of the parallelogram. From school days we know that area formula, area is nothing but, that is I can call it as a required area, uh, P1, P2 by sin theta, P1, P2 by sin theta. For example, if I want to find area bounded by a mod x plus b mod y equal to c with the coordinate axis. Coordinate axis. So this is a very simple question, board level question, but has a lot of applications in different different competitive exams. So the area is nothing but first of all I should get a parallelogram. So remove mod x with the plus or minus x, mod y with the plus or minus y. Therefore the lines will become ax plus or minus by equal to c plus or minus. So here plus or minus we will get the plus plus one line, plus minus one more line, minus plus one more line and minus minus one more line. These four lines will form a parallelogram and the area of the parallelogram obtained is 2c square by mod ab. No one will ask the derivation, just remember the formula. Now, if you see this thing in different cases, for example, if p1 equal to p2, that is a distance is a parallel distance between say, two lines, two lines are equal then a theta will be two possibilities. Theta will be 90 degrees or 
theta will not be 90 degrees when theta is 90 degrees and uh, when the distances are equal we call them as uh, we call that as a square we call the figure as a square and when theta is not equal to 90 we call that figure as a, a rhombus for example p1 is not equal to p2 and uh, theta is uh, equal to 90 and uh, theta is not equal to 90 so theta is equal to 90 we call it as a rectangle and when theta is not equal to 90 we call it as a parallelogram so these are the beautiful cases which you have a lot of applications now here is a question which they asked on the perpendicular distance in one of the previous IIT mains so the question goes like this so they gave a point A, B, C respectively and P, X, comma, Y. Then what is asking is, what is the area bounded by? What is the area, what is the area, uh, ratio of areas of triangle P, B, C by triangle A, B, C? And we have to prove it as uh, something like uh, mod of X plus Y minus 2 by 7. So this can easily taken into take a common base BC because in both uh, we have a BC as a common. So take common base and the different heights. <clears throat> the respective areas ratios is nothing but respect heights. Heights from point P and from A to the side BC. And we can find the perpendicular distance but before we are going to find the perpendicular distance we should get the equation of BC because uh, we are finding perpendicular distance from the vertices to the BC. So that and all we can uh, find perpendicular distance formula and we will get directly answer. So this is one way but the same question we can do in very easy way by using shortcut. For example if I assume P is equal to A. P is equal to A. Therefore, the ratio will become 1 into 1. Why? Both will become ABC by ABC. So, the A ratios will become 1 is to 1. So, A is nothing but 6, 3. And I am writing P is nothing but 6, 3. P is nothing but they gave it as X plus X, Y. So, X is 6 and Y is 3. Put here 6 plus 3, 9 minus 2, 7 by 7. I will get it as 1 is to 1. So, this is a very simple application based on areas. Thank you.